Well, good evening, ladies, lasses, and lazos. Welcome to the click. You smell absolutely amazing today. Today, we're going to do something beautiful. We're going to look at r slash sips tea, which this one is empty, luckily. Uh, and it's amazing memes, the most trendy things on the internet currently. And I do hope you're with me to dig through some of these juicy, juicy posts. Enjoy. Mwah. And remember to subscribe and you'll get free tea sent to you. Disclaimer, you won't, but a subscri <laughs> subscribe anyway. Nailed it. Marketing is my passion. What is this? Forbidden water slide. No, no, don't go there. Oh. Where, where does it go? Ha! This is the movie It 3. This is how it starts. Let's go down this mysterious water slide. Wee! There's nothing down here that's gonna eat us alive. <laughs> this is horrifying. I'm assuming they know it goes out somewhere safe, but... Oh, dear God. And I also know that my drunk, stupid ass would probably do this myself. <laughs> That's the worst part. You're not bringing your 6-8 BF, are you? Okay. Nigga, that is rape. <laughs> you can't fuck that last dog. Get out of here. I'm ready to fuck you. Go about the minute, you fucking rape. <laughs> oh my god. That is beautiful. Online relationship goals, baby. Her brother was hiding in her closet. Her BF was over. The drama. I'm just trying to protect you, Jesse. He's trying to kick my closet. But first of all, I was cleaning last night. Uh huh. And then suddenly you walk in and you start making her scream. She screams for mercy, begging for mercy, calling for dad. Oh. It's something funny. But it's the whole family just like a theater kind of reenaction. This is amazing. Why is my family not like this? My family is kind of like this sometimes, but but like it, it's it's fun. Don't don't hide in each other's closets. It's weird. <laughs> Trigger a fan base in one sentence. Oh gee, this is about to get spicy. Comments, relax. Frisbee golf, ball golf. This one that sets me off. Balf. Ah, oh, I even I found that kind of low key disgusting. Flat Earthers say they have members all around the globe. <laughs> that just uh, came out a little flat. I thought it was a pretty rounded statement. Uh, nah, it sounded pretty plain to me. Uh, this is just puns. What? Well, well, this is not upsetting anyone. Upset more. Harley Davidson motorcycles are not anywhere near as good as their competitors, particularly the Japanese ones. Oh, there we go. Now we got some outrage going. Hell yeah. I can see you boiling in the comments. Oh my god, it's the guy from Fortnite. The Jedi were the bad guys. <laughs> North slash Empire did nothing wrong. Oh, 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 oh. Well, apart from blowing up a few planets and stuff, but you know the 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 greater good and all that kind of jazz. Use the force, Harry Gandalf. It's Gandalf, you Nimrod. Ah, oh, disgusting. I went in for an oil change the other day and was told my cabin air filter needed to be replaced. That sounds complex. And that they could do so for the low low price of one hundred fifty four dollars uh, and sixty two cents. Well, I found this little fella online for fifteen dollars. So let's see what $140 of manual labor looks like, shall we? This is going to be grossly uh, underwhelming, isn't it? I, I can just see it coming. It's just a filter, you know? If you can open it yourself without a special key, it's just... Uh, exactly, there you go. Is it slippity sloopity? Gorgeous. $140 right there. They really do be charging for nothing, isn't it? Gosh darn. This will be such a genius YouTube channel as well. I mean, I guess it already exists to some extent, but taking everyday life hack that people usually get scammed out of. It's like, oh, here is someone fixing a very simple thing at your house or fixing your thing in your car for like 200 bucks. But in reality, you can do it super easy in two minutes, just like that. And having a channel that's just debunking these like half scams throughout in the world. That'd be a beautiful idea. I am nowhere near handy enough to do it, part when it comes to like basic computer stuff. But, but damn, that would be a good idea. Hmm. Um, gets a megal with the vamen and he's very interested in. <gasps> it wasn't vamen at all! Oh! <laughs> Are you just green screening? Got you, man! <laughs> <laughs> Is there some story or what? Oh. I'm fucking weird, bro! <laughs> yeah, <I am. laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I 
like, oh boy! <laughs> do you like that? I do, I do like the scream of, of the second last guy. That's amazing. Ah! It is true. The one third pounder burger failed in America because they thought a quarter pounder were bigger. Uh, yeah, because they are. Uh, one third is larger than one fourth. 0 0.33 is larger than 0 0.25. What are those signs? <clears throat> How did we become the dominant species on this planet? It blows my mind repeatedly. A snail is better at math than this. It's atrocious. This would also be genius marketing. If I open a math school in the future when I'm old and I have a beard so I can like be a typical professor that strokes my beard, th this is perfect marketing. Just crappy tweets if Twitter is still a thing. Hopefully it is so I can use it as marketing. 48 megapixels. You are almost there, Apple. <laughs> we have 108 megapixels for two years, six months, 21 days, 55 minutes, 47 seconds. <laughs> Lol, Samsung being real petty. Do you have a countdown timer? But it's like a count up timer. It's like, here is how long it's taking you to catch up. This is uh, intriguing marketing. Damn, it comes off as like high school drama, but between phones. <laughs> when your crush is throwing hands at you from across the room. Mm, a, uh, n oh, that's a weird name. That's very strange indeed. My crush is very strange. It was just a prank, bro. Chill out. The prank. Oh yeah, just waking up to a little fire. Oh, that's very nice. That's a good prank. It's really lit, fam. <laughs> wow. Oh, there. <laughs> Wait, it's just. <laughs> they just catapulted out of it. So they lit the house on fire and catap. Oh my god. Yeah, I can see why that pr prank goes a little bit overboard. Hey, what should we do for for Steve's birthday? I know. Lit his house on fire and trebuchet him out of bed. Genius, George. Giving birth isn't as painful as being kicked in the nuts. Have you had a baby? No, but over the years women say, let's have another one. I never hear a man saying, come on, hit me on the nuts again. Okay, I can see where the argument is coming from. But like, also being kicked in the nuts doesn't really have a purpose outside of, you know, you just the pure pain of it. While giving birth to a child, it's not really, you know, the pain that is the purpose. It's producing another living, glorious being. But, you know, if I could pop out a baby just by getting kicked in the balls, I'd probably, I'd, I'd probably consider doing it more than once, depending on my current life situation. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, uh, it's not comparable in that way, I suppose. 30-day free trial of being okay. <gasps> Where's the link? Where's the f***ing link? <laughs> what, what would this be? A 30-day free trial of being okay? Would this just be like trial sessions with like a psychiatrist or something? Is that what this would be? Or just a 30-day subscription for happy pills? <laughs> like is that- what would this be pragmatically? Is that it? Is that it? What it would be? Oh god. I am a wanted man, Jason. Impossible. You weren't even a wanted child. When no one wants you to the point that you become, like, legally immune. That is amazing. When your superpower is being invisible, man, but just because nobody wants to be around you and everyone ignores you to the point you can commit crimes. There we go. Amazing supervillain, even as the backstory. Bullied in school and then grows up to be literally invisible, but not in that way. I slept a fish. <gasps> Stop! Why is he slash she slash they so cute? Are you afraid to misgender a fish? I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I don't. I don't think the fish cares. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that out there. That's, it seems like the most. The biggest concern is about how many breadcrumbs is gonna munch this night, and it's gonna be so many breadcrumbs because it's such a good little flapper. Jesus, watching us smoke big fat dabs and do butt stuff. Oh heck yes. These are the sins I died for. Jesus, I'm so glad I'm making you proud. Remember that, kids. Make sure to sin a lot today. Don't make Jesus have died for nothing. That would be such a shame. Uh, whales actually still have back leg bones, but they are tiny and useless. Look at that tiny, useless back leg bone. Just like you, you heckin' loser. <laughs> I got them. Man, these posts are really, like, really going at it today, isn't it? My wholesome twist. Uh, you're not small and useless. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Six-year-old me after learning about other planets and moons. <gasps> the universe is so big. I'm realizing that I'm just a tiny speck of poo glued to a ball of dirt. And it's all amazing but scary in the same way because it's so big. <sighs> it's kind of cool, though, isn't it? Like how, how your normal brain when you just go about everyday life doesn't really process it. But then, but then occasionally you get this existential crisis just like... 
oh yeah, there's more to it than just, you know, the everyday life that my brain and habits have, like, told me that's everything there is to it, and just sit there like, oh yeah, um, it's easy to be nihilistic about it. But the beautiful thing, you know, sometimes there are people who be super nihilistic about it, like, okay, nothing matters because, you know, heat death of the universe and stuff, so nothing will make a difference. But in reality, it's, like, so separated by time anyway, so your life wouldn't be different, you know, as we live now, even if the universe had a different trajectory. Maybe it does. It's all kind of theories anyway at this point. So the, po the point is anyway that it doesn't pragmatically affect your life anyway. So zooming out too much when it comes to the universe or time frames it is kind of a bad concept because if you zoom out long enough even the big bang is pointless because oh the universe will probably end at some point so you know even the big bang is useless you know how, how is your life supposed to matter if even the big bang is useless so the point is basically don't zoom out too much um that something matters is the concept that we have made up for ourselves and what matters to you is what you decide if you are here on this earth and you're like tiny bubble that is your life what happens in that bubble matters to you and that's all that matters nothing that is so far away in time or space is going to make a difference in that bubble anyway so why be so concerned it's better to make sure you do what matters to most here and to the people you love um there we go that was kind of beautiful right yeah <clears throat> a little silly kitty turned into something cool hell yeah a therapist you know untreated anxiety and depression cause brain damage right me <laughs> Explains why I'm so freaking stupid. N no, no, it's not like stupid brain damage. Your emotions become so stressful, your brain starts getting a little numb to them. You start experiencing higher rates of apathy. You could also have further trouble with memory and problem solving. That explains why I'm so freaking stupid. <laughs> It just it just go, goes back around, is it? Oh my god, it's a bad circle. It makes you stupid to so make bad life choices, so you get even more stuff. And then, you know, it's just, and then we all stupid. That would explain so much about humanity, though, but... Okay, moving on. That was not so wholesome. But Big booty discourse. I am racist, but you... Well, nothing says, you know, fixing the racism and... <laughs> and, the, and, the, and divides in this world. Quite like big old bad cheeks. At least we we find middle ground on something, right? You know, that's that's pretty good. Maybe we should just maybe we should just not wear pants to you know meetings when we're talking about peace and stuff. You know, maybe maybe that would fix it. Just be in the sauna. You know, I think the Finns have it figured out. That's an amazing concept. Yesterday, my colleague called me a book murderer because I cut the long books in half to make them more portable. Does anyone else do this? Is it just me? What? The huh? I mean, if it's a book I genuinely hate, I wouldn't care so much. But, but you know, part of having having books is like having them on the bookshelf so you can show off like, Oh, yeah, you see, I totally read. <laughs> That's the, if you cut him in half, he just looks like a raging psychopath. Are you making a good choice? One F-35 fighter jet is 95 million, so you can buy one jet. Or you can buy 317,725 point. 75 12 feet tall Home Depot skeletons for the same amount of money. <laughs> I think the military would uh, have a better time if they re could recruit 300,000 skeleton warriors. You know, like the skeleton summons in Skyrim, you know? It's just about having a necromancer build instead of a fighter jet build. It's fine. You talk about naughties too much. Mom, is it because it's not heterosexual sex talk? Mm hmm. Homophobia morning there, Mom. No, not at all. You know, I love and support you. It's because you taught Grandma what fisting is. <clears throat> she has a point to me. All right, we got a little dent in the car, so we pour hot water on it. All right, and then we take a tool. And we. Oh. Okay, and then. And then we just pull with said tool and it fixes it. This would be an amazing excuse to why you possess said tool in the first place. I'm, I'm very much here for that. Yes, that is amazing. You know, is it what what state in the US is that you you're not allowed to own? What is it? Eight or 12 of these tools or something like that? It, it's like down in Texas or something. And then if they ask you, it's like, no, no, no. I run a workshop for cars. OK. It's not what it looks like, officer. This is not an adult toy. It's a tool for, for, for removing bumps in cars. If I was the teacher, I'd give this kid an A. Defend your answer. Answer. Sarge, I don't know how much longer we can hold him. That is I love this. This is so creative. I mean, maybe they don't pass this test, but sign this kid up for some kind of like freaking creative university. If that's a thing. Is it a thing? Maybe it's a thing. That would be good. Officer, my wife is missing. She went out yesterday oh, no. and she hasn't come home. Okay, what's her height? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe around five, six. Okay, wait. Uh, I don't know. Not 
slim, not big. Mm -hmm. Color of eyes, sort of blue, I think. <laughs> I never really noticed. What's the colour of her hair? Well, that changes all the time. Depending oh, yeah, that's, on what hair that's true, she goes I guess. To. What clothes was she wearing when you last saw her? Could have been a red dress, maybe a blue <laughs> one. Uh, I don't know exactly. <laughs> when she left to go somewhere, did she go by car? Yeah, she did. And what is the make of that car? It's a high performance 560 horsepower Audi in a very specific grey silver metallic paint. It has 8 speed pedal shift automatic transition and a 6.35 litre V12 engine, generating at least 560 horsepower. It has a Z51 uh, super performance package, it, larger than mm -hmm. normal alloy wheels, GT bucket seats, <clears throat> satellite navigation, and unfortunately, a oh, no. scratch on the front left door handle. Don't worry, sir. We'll find your car. Hmm. Men. Oh, that is, that's so, that's so good. But I do hope you find your car. Uh, sincerely, that must be horrible. Zhang <laughs> <laughs> Ben Shapiro versus 2012 Elon Musk. Who would win? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. We got Samurai Ben Shapiro and Liberty Elon Musk. Is this, is this just a parody superhero series? I hope so. Me, during my fourth birthday party, suddenly gaining full self-awareness. Yeah, that's weird to think about, isn't it? Like, is that what your first memory is from? Is that is that it? Or is it when you are, like, self-aware to be like, Oh yeah, I am a living thing, and I know that I'm a living thing, kind of. It's because as a baby, you don't have that. Like, your mind is basically that of, like, a weird little snotty puppy. But when does that happen? It's so, so weird to think about. Does it happen gradually? Is it just one day to the next? Like, what? Uh, that's oh, that's that's weird to think about, isn't it? Mashallah, I see Allah has given you everything except my phone number. Oh, that is just so smooth. My God, just sliding right in. I mean, not like that. It's more like it was supposed to be a representation of smooth. So anyway, let's move on to the next meme before the comments get ideas. R slash ask Reddit. You can make one thing five percent bigger. What do you choose? This AI generated art. Oh, it's a little lady. And I, I can't see why those two would fit together at all. Sinful internet! The school's tang! I mean, it's good. yes, good sinful internet. Make sure Jesus died for something. Yes. Me, talking to the imaginary audience, watching my life at all times. What you're about to watch is a nightmare. Yeah, d does anyone feel like that sometimes? You're just pretending to be on, like, the Truman Show? And just like, oh yeah, I better smile while watching, wa washing, brushing my teeth. Just in case there's an audience on the other side of the mirror watch watching. Man, that's awkward. I spend too much time making videos, man. <laughs> I'm just- I'm just chronically a YouTuber. Oh, no. Oh, this is good. Some Assassin's Creed. Oh, sneaky! Nice, I like that. Okay. Oh, here comes the other ones. Be careful there! Be careful, Mr. Assassin! Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> you mean, apart from the half dozen feet sticking out there? I love video game AI. Did I just lose <laughs> it's like in Skyrim, when you're sneaking and shooting arrow, and it's just sticking out of someone's forehead. But if you just crouch for long enough, they forget you were even there, even though they have an arrow sticking out, like, here. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir! We lost our entire army mysteriously! And they just find all the feet sticking out on the random chair in theater. But he, but he just keep going! And there's the- Oh, there's one more guy! There's one more guy! Come on, dude, you can do this! Be smarter than the rest! Oh, well, I'm, I'm assuming he went, to, went the same fate. You know, statistically, if I were to just extrapolate the data, he's also gonna be a pair of feet under that one chair. I do love video game AI, though. It's so beautiful. Or like when you manage to cheese somebody just running against a rock and you can just- It's beautiful in one way. It's like, it kind of ruins the game once you crack it, because it becomes more about exploiting the mechanics rather than exploring the game. But it's also so fun, so I'm very, like, split on it. In one way, I love games that are, like, quirky and glitchy and weird, but in one way, I also love it when I haven't yet figured out the quirks and the mechanics. It's like, it, it's it's a two-edged sword. Vermont's finest Ben and Jerry's custody battle. Wait, wait, is that a pun? <laughs> Custard ice cream and salty caramel swirls? I love this. It's so good. Can you imagine giving this to your kid after, like, a horrible divorce battle? That would be kind of ironic, wouldn't it? To prove that people will argue about anything, here is a rock. Ooh, let's see what the internet has provided today. That's clearly a Geodude egg. I don't know why some would take an egg out of a chicken coop and paint it in that color. Cause they like their eggs boiled hard. Scotch egg? How hard? Stop! 
Actually, that's a stone. I don't know, man. Looks like a pebble to me. Far too big to be a pebble. What? Are you blind? My cousin is a stoneologist. I know what I'm talking about. I am very highly qualified stoner, and I can confirm with absolute certainty that this is neither rock nor pebble, but rather a picture. God, this video was a mistake. Oh, it's painful, but it's so satisfying. Cobble, stone, pebble, stone, rock, boulder. Well, it's certainly not a boulder. It's not thick enough. What do you think this is in the comments? And don't say boulder. It's not thick enough. It has to clap hard. If you're white and you've never bought one of these, I respect you. Okay. It's gonna be some kind of spice joke in like flour mayonnaise or something. Wait, that's it? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's... Okay, what? Well, yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 okay, okay, I see what you did there. Have an universet you in, bro. Oh, beautiful. I never thought that would be accepted. This guy has taken lives, saved lives, and is now observing life. Johnny Kim, aged 37, changed his career three times and has achieved becoming a Navy SEAL, trained Harvard doctor, and NASA astronaut. This feels like the kind of thing they just take completely out of context and make trending on LinkedIn for like a week. But also, at 37, you've had all the, like, three super demanding careers. At the age of 37, what? How many careers is he gonna have by the age of 60? 15? This is mind-blowing. What an inspiration. I wanna make a LinkedIn post about this right away. Oh, <gasps> Ish Kitty! Oh yes, be concerned. TikTok is a plague on this world. Yes, Kitty, be afraid. Be very afraid. The cat just makes this so much better. The horror of online trends is, is so, so very beautifully summed up in this <laughs> one video. <laughs> this is how I this is how I see it too. The internet was so much nicer just like two years ago. I don't know. What, it's it's just oh god. It's so much going on all the time. Everything has a shelf life of like half a week, and it's just like everyone is always angry. And I, I don't I don't know, man. Kitty, I feel the way you look, man. Why are you using Tinder? <laughs> My boyfriend died last year. I'm just trying to get back in the dating scene, really. Damn, that's sad. Our first date should be using an Ouija board to get his permission to smash. But what, what the frick is wrong with you? Yeah, you know what we said about smooth messages before? This is about level of sandpaper. Um, yeesh. I wonder if this is real or fake. I hope it isn't real. Because, like... You just ruined someone's day completely on an innocent little dating chat and also ruined your own chances for like a meme, but <sighs> All right, so so yeah, it's fake. I'm gonna say it's fake because that 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 makes me have a little bit of hope in humanity, okay? Delete folder. Are you sure you want to permanently delete this folder? <gasps> Memes for Queen Elizabeth 100th birthday? <laughs> oh, the real sadness. God, meme culture. Ah, oh, it, it's oh, it, it has to be preserved, man. You created this 2008? You've been gathering this for like 14 years. That is so, and you only had 108 items? That's it? You only you only managed to gather 108 memes in that time? Or did you gather all back in 2008? Because in that case, they're gonna be horribly outdated memes. Like 2008, that's like before Rage comic memes. This is, this is ancient. I said I wasn't feeling well, and my preschooler's advice was, You'll feel better if you just eat some pizza. Long story short, he's my doctor now. Well, that's good. Keep the business in the family, you know, less taxes, maybe, if you do it under the table. Oh my god, you found it! <gasps> Never got him that many upvotes, thanks! And it's the same amount of upvotes and downvotes, because the universe always reaches equibrillium. <laughs> yes. Unicorn. A heavy assault unicorn. High-speed submersible unicorn. Why did they just not name rhinoceros like bulk acorn? I, I don't understand. Or like, for example, freaking, what's it called? Orcas? Sea panda. Why, why not sea panda? Whoever was naming animals was missing some real zingers. Man, at Coolio, my brother, we hit it all across the land, man. I am broken about this. Here is some blonde begging us both for some meat sauce. Rip my bro. What? What? Oh, my. what? 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 iPhone user when Apple announces the iPhone 14 tomorrow. Hashtag Apple event. Look, I have this shirt, but here's this shirt that's brand new and much better. <laughs> I can't be the only one who does this. I, I have started to like purposefully skip like, I don't know how many generations, four generations of phone. It's probably more now. How old is my phone? Very old, because I just don't care. I keep it until the battery gets crappy. That That's like when it's time for me to buy a new phone because they're all the same. 
it's like, oh, it's a slightly better camera. Oh, gee, let me spend two thousand dollars on that bad boy. Heck yes. It's like it's not it's not big enough of a practical difference. Am I the only one who feels this way? Like, why? A husband buys a dozen pandas of the same color for his wife. His wife protests. Why the same color? People will think I don't change my panties. Husband asks, which people? Ah, and it's a little Kermit. <laughs> yes, indeed. I love myself some Facebook memes. This is, uh, yeah, it's, it's passable. It's passable. This is the music video for Northern Boy by a band called The Northern Boys. Okay. This is this is good, man. What? I was not expecting this. This is this is just goals, you know. When I when I become a a dad, basically, and still want to do band practice, this is what I aspire to be. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. If you're taking applications, I'm I'm getting old, so I'm almost there, fam. It's. <laughs> this is my future. It's gonna be beautiful. Ah, little fishy. The horn gus is a dongfish. It's attached by a skungle to a kind of dill sack, the nate sack. This. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with this text. Is this real? Did someone just change this as a prank or is this real? <laughs> Biology class just became a lot more giggly. Her on her birthday versus. Look at this. Oh my god, it's so much attention. Ah oh, yes, happy birthday, bish! Woo! Me on my birthday. Well, you know what to say. If you're all by yourself, it's more cake for you, so... Yeah. There is a silver lining or, or something. Uh, how are you doing tonight? Uh, I live in constant fear of God and the fate of eternal damnation. My sins may be completely beyond forgiveness. Didn't you know God is dead? God is dead. He's dead? You sure? Yeah, God is dead and we have killed him. <laughs> it's basically a get out of jail free card. Heck yeah, baby. Or get out of hell, hell free card. But if you don't want to get out of hell free card. We have a VIP ticket to hell. Hopefully it's restocked. Now both of the sticker and a pin. Check it out in the description. Merch store. Yeah, yeet baby. I love this though. I doubt it's the real dub. That'd be, that'd be very suspicious. I think I've seen this before with a different text, but <laughs> it was so glorious if that was the case. Just, hi, how do you feel about eternal damnation? Like, what? Virginity facts! People who lose their virginity late, older than 19, very specific, my my quoted statistic, have higher income, education, and healthier relationship than those who lost it earlier. Source, I want this to be true. <coughs> I am gonna be the richest and healthiest person in the world. Ah, oh, yes, loneliness. The healthiest relationship there is. No, it's like, I want to spend more time with the most amazing person I know in the world, and that is me. So, there you go, baby. <laughs> Just more for me, for myself. Hmm. Gandalf. Many forget that even the smallest among us can contribute great things. <gasps> even Pippin? No. Seems about right. Screw you, Pippin. Trying to be honest with my therapist, but not so honest that I get involuntarily hospitalized. Ah, oh, just gonna, just gonna. Oh dear God, that's that's it. It's a that's that's a, uh, oh God, it's relatable memes. Oh, oh yay! God creates butt for taking poo. Humans. <gasps> Look at that poo organ, so juicy. It's more like God puts a pleasure button inside of butt. God also makes it a sin to be gay. <laughs> I, I swear to God. Why? When you have no life experiences or achievements. Alex, 25, former child. This is when you're just trying to pad your resume. Uh, I was a child at this place. I remember my first resume I wrote. I still had like where I went to, I don't know, elementary school in it. It was like, I went to elementary school and learned basic algebra 52 years ago when I was young. <laughs> because there was nothing else to put on the resume. It was so sad. I was like 18 or something. <laughs> All right, Station, this is Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook. Can you hear me okay? Uh... So, hey, Mark, we're reading oh, right there. It's a pleasure to talk with you today. Oh, this is edited, I think right? I should start by, can you? Oh, it's our pleasure. Oh. Can you um, introduce yourselves and your roles and how long you've been working up there for? 
That's a great question, Mark. <laughs> oh. Oh. So let's start with a couple of questions here about the science that you're doing on board the space station. Mm -hmm. So what kind of research are you doing in space that we can't do anywhere else? Oh yes, very good question. Please, please. Oh great, he's spinning the microphone. That's very... Uh -huh. Ha 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 Whee! This, this like triggers some kind of PTSD for me because this just brings me back to all those awkward meetings I had to attend when I still worked corporate and everyone is like very pleasant on the surface because it's supposed to be professional but it's still like super awkward and he just feels that no one really wants to be there. <laughs> <laughs> it just gives me that vibe. Honestly, I mean, it seems kind of very edited, especially towards the end. That's a little bit too sus, but but th that is oh, it just invokes the worst memories. So what is this? Just wearing a little coat and oh, there's two ducks. Is it? Why is this video of me trending? This is an outrage. Uh, this is gonna be me when I've just given up on everything else in life. I'm just gonna go around with the baby stroller with ducks. Yes, I see myself going down this path, and people are like, oh my god, this is really going downhill. That this this is a peak. Okay, it's a peak. Okay, so we so we're playing some Sabaton music, and we have wait, we have Crusader armors. We have his <laughs> bumper cars. This is so good. Can I please do this? This is, oh my god, this is amazing. I oh, if I got to do this, I would die a happy man. Either on or after the battlefield. This is so good. Wow. When the stocks drop sharply due to a threat of nuclear war, buy the dip. If nuclear war doesn't happen, you'll profit. If it does, uh, you won't need the money. That's true. You can only win. Or you can only... You're not, you're not gonna lose money. Six easy exercises that anyone can do. One, trying to get up from the couch. Two, staggering home drunk. Three, patiently standing in a queue. Four, checking if your feet are still there. Five, covering your ears to make the voices stop. Six, giving up. D tricks for you to burn calories today as a modern, uh, chronically online person. Yippee! Abby Shapiro. No one knows how to satisfy you like your own brother. With the, with the, what, what, what? Is this, is this real? That's, that's, how did, that, okay, either this is fake and it's very funny, or like it's real, and that makes me really concerned about linguistics and how different people read different sentences in different con. What is, this, this is so sus. <laughs> this isn't the Naughty Hub. You're not- you're not trending on a category, come on now! I don't care if adult films are fake. Star Wars is fake, Lord of the Rings is fake, Jurassic Park is fake, and I did the splooshies to all of those too. That- that did not end up where I thought it was gonna end up, but I guess we go home wiser for it, don't we? Involuntarily wiser. Well, thank you so much, ladies, lads, and lads, for going along with this adventure with me. I do hope you had a blast, because I love having you here. Thank you so much, and I do hope you're amazing, best of the day, because you do deserve it. I will see you in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.